Alrighty. Good evening, everyone. How's everyone doing tonight? Sweet. Thank you so much for coming out, and a huge thanks to Dallas New Tech for having us out here. Really exciting to be here. My name is Josh. I am the co-founder and CEO of our company, Skill Silo. I'd like to start off with asking you all the following question. How long does it take the average person to learn a new language? Depends, of course, on the method of study. Let's take a classroom setting. The average college major is 36 credits, which equates to 540 hours of study and over $10,000 in tuition payments. But what's wrong with a typical classroom setting? Yes, great answer. Let's start with fixed course times and a fixed location that you must travel to, lack of customization in the curriculum, or most importantly, an inability for a student to continuously ask questions. After all, classrooms are designed for the masses, aren't they? Now, how about self-study software? Who here has heard of Rosetta Stone or Duolingo, Khan Academy, the language learning leaders, as they all call them? What's wrong with them? Again, it's that same issue. It's that one-way conversation that prevents the user from learning only what they want to learn, asking questions, and getting instant feedback. The good news is we found a solution to all of these problems, and we've been generating revenue since January of 2015. Thank you. We pair professionals with students via live one-on-one -on -one video conferencing. Students sign on to our website, choose a course they're interested in learning. For now, we're starting with just languages with a plan to expand to other courses. Pick a time that fits their schedule, and from anywhere in the world are able to connect via a live one-on-one -on -one tutor. Our vision is to allow anyone to learn anything from anywhere in the world with the click of a button via a live tutor. Now, how effective is it learning via a live tutor over video conferencing? Let's take Justin as an example. Justin is a medical school student out here at University of Texas Medical Branch. He's been with us in only 20 hours of study. Justin is already able to conduct a basic medical Spanish examination with a patient and relay that information over to the doctor. Justin's tutor, Julie, lives out in Colombia. And we're able to offer Justin at a rate for a medical Spanish lesson at only $13.99 an hour. With regards to our revenue, our current average customer lifetime value is at $326, but the good news is this is growing by the day. We've been achieving phenomenal growth on a month-by-month -month basis. Let's talk about the market. If we're just going after language learning as a whole, $56.3 billion was spent in 2013. Now, the online learning industry, as I'm sure you could all imagine, Huge market, 107 billion expected to have hit in 2015. Let me ask you all the following question. With there being 3.2 billion users connected to the internet today, 40% of the world, as that number increases, as the connection gets stronger, what is gonna be the preferred method of education? We're betting on the fact that video conferencing is not only gonna be the preferred method of education, but eventually the preferred method to earn a living with freelancers from anywhere in the world. Our target market, we're going after corporate clients as we realize the majority of our customers are using our service to add value to our career. This is a gigantic market in and of itself, let alone the B2C market. Competition, we already spoke a little bit about Rosetta Stone and Duolingo, that one-way conversation, self-study software. We have Wizant, they're mainly focused on in-person tutoring. Then we have a couple other competitors who do video conferencing, but they're mainly specializing in niche subjects. We don't want to specialize in a specific area. Our dream is to open up this model to any subject in the world. You want to learn how to use photography, you want to learn how to cook something, do a backflip, we'll connect you with someone from anywhere in the world for an affordable price to meet live one-on-one. -on -one. With regards to our team, there's myself, co-founder and CEO. I'm also a certified public accountant. There's my two technical co-founders, Judah out in the crowd over there, the guy with the really big beard, but not as big as Orange, of course. <laughs> And then of our other co-founder, Akiva, both of them being technical co-founders, we've all been close friends since high school, and we are huge learning enthusiasts. We're building this product for ourselves before we build it for the rest of our market. You will never find three individuals more enthusiastic about learning. We want to learn everything in the world, teach that to as many people as possible. There's just one problem. We're young, inexperienced entrepreneurs. We're in desperate need of advisors, people to help join our team people who believe in our vision to shake the world of education for the better. And if you think that you're one of those people and you're interested in learning more, please come talk to me afterwards. I'd love to speak with you. Thanks so much.
questions? To the timer, hold on. With five seconds to spare, that was well done. Lauren. Well, right now we've only been focusing on languages, so we really don't have any data on that. I imagine what we'd want to move into next would be, aside from skills, maybe standardized testing. I imagine computer programming could also be really big. Things like photography, video editing, stuff like that. Yes, what's your name? Hersha. We have a vetted interviewing process in which we get to know our tutors. We do a mock lesson with them. We check their credentials, get an idea for their teaching style as well. No, qual credentials. Not, we don't focus on their college degrees. It's really easy with languages right now because if they're a native speaker, we know that they're a mastery of that subject. We're mainly focusing then on do they have the ability to actually teach. Okay, over here. This is the, this is the official tool for asking questions. Cool. If you have a company that comes to you saying we want you to, uh, to tutor uh, 5,000 employees, how are you going to scale quickly? For us to be able to do 5,000 employees overnight, it would be an amazing problem to have. Um, definitely something that we don't have the capabilities to do right now. But based off just our efforts with regards to recruiting, that's been the easiest part with what we're doing. There are just tons and tons of people desperate to teach a language or just to work to earn some money via video conferencing, and it's really convenient. So while we may not be able to do that overnight, we do expect to be able to eventually be able to meet that need. Uh, so for native te for native tutors um, who speak the language you know from birth, how do you make sure that the student that is learning from that native speaker that they're learning the correct grammar, or is that not uh, really that important? That's a great question, and that definitely is very important. That brings up an important fact. We have two components to our language learning classes. We have the conversation component in which you familiarize yourself with what are popular and common phrases to use in the language. Then we also have a curriculum that we license from McGraw-Hill involving a textbook that goes over specifically those grammatical issues, vocabulary, and so forth. So there's the unstructured part in which you're just developing a relationship, and there's a structured part in which you're actually learning what the language comprises of. So with regards to scaling, how do you feel about partnering with uh, systems which provide mostly automated learning, like Rosetta Stone, for example, and then you can supplement that with additional learning via one-on-one -on -one tutoring for folks who need learning in addition to what's already automated? Yeah, I think that's a fantastic idea. I think right now um, it would definitely add a lot of value to our company if we were to add a bunch of resources to use in conjunction with our lessons. So we would definitely be interested in that idea. Isn't that great? We have such smart people, they give you ideas and you can run with that? Brilliant. I love you're, that. You're the ones that we need to speak to. I understand that many of your topics can be done through video conferencing, not in person, but d would you agree and, and therefore avoid other uh, subjects that really do need in-person work or collaboration? Yeah, it's a great question. I mean, we've definitely thought about it, like what subjects can you not teach via video conferencing? While we feel that like 98% of the subjects can be taught, something like let's say Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu or maybe swimming would be a lot tougher to teach via that platform. Right now, <laughs> what we do is we, um, we're the ones who are interviewing all of our professors. We bring them on board, we check their credentials, we make sure that they're of quality, then we bring them on board to teach. We're considering maybe in the future, whenever we expand this past languages to making this an open model, in which people say, hey, this is the course that I could teach, this is the material, they join our platform and we take a commission. So we haven't really figured that out yet with regards to what course are we going to allow and what model we're going to go after, but I definitely see that being an issue for some subjects. Okay, I have a couple of questions. One is, you said your lifetime value of the customer is 300 plus? Correct. Right, so what's, what's your customer acquisition cost? Around 175. And what's your most challenging aspect of actually gaining a customer? I would say right now, pay-per-click is our strongest acquisition medium. We're currently moving away from that, going after B2B, cold calling and cold emailing. The average life cycle for that is obviously a lot longer, or I would say, I should say the sales cycle. So really just finding ways to scale our marketing efforts outside of pay-per-click is our biggest challenge. I would say we have a phenomenal team in place, great with 
we have our product already up and running, so everything is ready to go. It's really now just with regards to scaling, which is hitting those right marketing channels. All righty. Thank you, guys. Well done. That was great.